How you doing? Yeah, this is a uh, senior deputy Dom with the Mobile County Sheriff's Office. I've been with uh, GMAC for approximately two to three months now. Been loving the community. It's a uh, good environment. It's like a, honestly a family environment. I've enjoyed it so far. Happy where I'm at. Um, I joined the sheriff's office because, uh, completely honestly, you not know, because the skins and the cars look amazing, but mainly because I've always wanted to be a part of the sheriff's department and. I've watched multiple uh, TV shows about the sheriff's department. Figured, why not join up and uh, try to be one of these guys and see what it's like to be on the streets with them. Uh, so tonight I'll be patrolling through this Bucci canals, uh, basically just uh, spot checking down these uh, alleyways, making sure there's no gang activity. This area is really bad for gang activity, so we're just making sure and going through these alleyways to make sure there's uh, absolutely no activity of that such sort going on. Uh, so uh, we just get dispatched to a call of a armed uh, vehicle robbery in progress on top of a uh, garage, car garage. So we're going to go ahead and uh, meet up with a state trooper as quick as we can in code one with no sirens or lights to uh, see what we can do and also not to alert the suspects of us arriving on scene and uh, see what we can do about defusing the situation and making it uh, any worse than what it already is. Also, how are you doing? How you doing tonight? Alright, so we got a armed uh, car jack on top of the garage over there. So we'll head there, um, no lights, no sirens to not alert them. Um, and uh, when we get on top, we'll uh, put lights and uh, sirens and uh, we'll get them code 5 if there is a su if the suspect is still on scene. Alright? So you go going first. Yeah, sure. Alrighty, so at this point we're going to go ahead and roll up on the garage and run to the top floor we're gonna go uh when we get there we're gonna go back completely blacked out so we don't alert the suspects of us uh, arriving Back off, man. I'm not getting out of the car. Get out of the car right now. This is a jack. No, get out of right you, now. You, you messed up, man. You messed up. No, I'm not telling you again. Get sir, out. Sir, sir, drop the gun. I look sir, behind drop you. the gun. Get away. Back off. Oh, 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 boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, all right, all right. I don't need this. I'm too pretty for this. Face away from us. Face away from us. I am way too pretty for this. I do not need this. Oh, I'll take the white one, you take the red one. Okay. Uh, I just needed some money. Therefore. This isn't even my money. This is my dad's. Why don't you get him cuffed? I'll move in on the red one. I'm not red, I'm white. White, white. with the red shirt. Oh my god, I'm totally gonna call my dad. He's gonna sue everybody. Oh, 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 I'm getting all of his money after all no. this. These things are so tight. Why did you have to put them on so tight? That's, That's for our sharp. protection. Anyways, uh, so can you explain to me exactly what's going on here, sir? Yeah, this old guy over here tried carjacking me and stealing all the money that is my dad's money, but like he let me borrow it. Okay, so he, what, did you see what vehicle he came up on or did he just walk up to you? Yeah, that trashy motorcycle from like 2017. God, it's so old. That one, that right, one there? right there? Yeah, that thing's like a hundred years old. Okay. Ed, you said this is your uh, father's vehicle, right? Or is it yours? This is my dad's. It's 2018. Okay. Uh, it's kind of getting old. Uh, I mean, it still looks pretty new to me, honestly. But uh, you said you were sitting in it, just kind of doing what? And well, yeah, just... I was just sitting in here. And then this guy walks up. And I'm like trying to put a post on Instagram, you know, like trying to get my followers and whatnot, and then this guy walks up and he points a gun right at my face, and like, I saw the bullet inside the whole thing. Alright, he was demanding you get out of the vehicle and everything, that... Yeah, he told me to get out and said, give me all the money, but like, I don't have any money, it's all my dad's. 
Alrighty. Well, if you want to hang tight here, and we'll go. Uh, I'll walk over here with this officer, and we'll talk with him and get his side, and we'll go from there. All right. All right, so Mr. Matt, uh, what happened? Well, I'm new to this area, and I'm gonna be square with you. I need mm -hmm. some money, and you know, I have that uh, 2017 motorcycle. I know it's 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 trash. It's like 100 years old, but I still need some money, you know, to pay some debts. So, I mean, I saw that nice car, so I just thought I could, you know, finesse it. All right. Um, so when I approached you, I saw you had a pistol in your hand. Do you have any license for that, mister? Oh, uh, I didn't need, I didn't know you needed it. In my old town, you didn't need any, uh, you well, didn't need license. Well, in the state of you need a license for any kind of, uh, armed weapons. So, oh, so, alright. So at this time, you're gonna be detained for, um, possession of a legal weapon with no, uh, license for it. And, uh, for, uh, armed robbery. Alright. Alright, face away, face away, please. God, I'm totally gonna tweet this. Alright, so we can go approach the other suspect and uncuff him and uh, go for there. Alright, uh, did you get his charges and what he's being arrested for? Yeah, I gave it to him. Uh, I'll read him his rights uh, in a second here. Alright, All right, so Mr. Matt, you're under arrest uh, for uh, the reasons I mentioned uh, a minute ago. Everything you say can will be, of course, stated law. You have the right to have an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, an attorney will be proven to you by a court stated law. Do you understand your rights? I haven't read them to you, Mr. Matt. Yes, sir. Alright. Is he going to jail? Oh yeah, he's he's going to jail. Good, because I'm totally like I tweeted. I'm gonna tweet this when I get out of here, and he's gonna get so many dislikes on his page. Alrighty, well from now on, well from here on out, I'm gonna head and uh, uncuff you. Uh, do you have any any sort of identification on you by any chance? Yeah, like I, I drive a car, obviously. Alrighty, well uh, can I take a look at that? So yeah. You get your yeah, name yeah, and run it real quick. My name is Jonathan Adams Winker. Hey, Jonathan. John Adams Winker. Did I say that correctly? Jonathan Adams Winker. Okay, Jonathan Adams Winker. All right, cool. All right, if you want to go ahead and just hang tight for me right here, I'm gonna go ahead and run your name and get your tag and run it really quick. I don't know what the tag is. But okay. Why did he just say license plate? Oh my god. Alright, well it appears that uh, everything came back clean and the vehicle's registered to your father. Um, just go ahead and make by, yes, that's what that's that's what came up with the computer. Alrighty, um, well from here on out, uh, hopefully that guy won't be causing you any more problems. Uh, he's going away for a long time for what he's done. Yeah, and, I'm moving uh, to Liberty uh, City. This is stupid. Uh, I mean, do what you gotta do, man. But uh, from here on out, uh, you're free to go and you have a good night, sir. Thanks, you too. Alrighty guys, so um, as you've seen the situation was diffused, one suspect went to jail with his crimes, the other one was released, um, he was more of a victim at this point, so at this point I went ahead and called a tow truck in for this uh, motorcycle and get it towed and uh, that'll basically be the end of this call for this evening.
Uh, so two years. Um, so also take note that uh, how dangerous these situations could have been. I just seen the one guy with the pistol or firearm. Uh, it could have been seriously, could have ended badly if there was not more than one officer on scene. So, um, I guess situations like this can be extremely dangerous and, you know, obviously you gotta take the proper, you have the proper training and tactics to be able to succeed and defuse situations like this. And uh, hopefully the night goes well without getting someone getting hurt. Hey guys, I am Officer Matt with the Sterling Police Department and I've been with GMAC for two and a half months now and I've chose the Sterling Police Department because I get to be right here in, in this little town that I live in. I don't have to go all the way to any big cities or anything and, and I get to uh, I like it so much because I get to protect my town and everybody in it so they can feel safe and just live their life normally as they do. We are responding to a burglary in process at the moment. We've been dispatched to a uh, grape seed. Uh, the complainant doesn't know whether the burglar is in their house or not, so we're gonna ride out here and we're gonna check it out. We are arriving at the scene at the moment. Yes, yeah, so I guess right here. Hello, sir. Hey, how may I help you, sir? Uh, so I just came here from Mount the Lawn and I saw that my window was broken. Uh, so I was just wondering what was happening, and I think someone invaded my home. I'm not too sure that I haven't uh, really stepped in, because he could be armed, you never know. So, um, just could you check that out for me? Uh, I saw him, he has a white tank top. Um, uh, he has uh, black hair going to the neck, approximately. Um, I'm not too sure what where he went, but I think he went that, uh, that way. So, yeah. Alright, well I'll go, in, uh, go ahead and check your house out and make sure it's... Uh... Here. Oh, thanks, sir. Salem Police Department, speak to me now. Salem Police Department, you're in here, speak to me now. You will, you will be tased. Salem Police Department. Beat me now. Speak to me now or you will be shot. Make yourself known if you're in here. Salem Police Department. Speak to me now, you will be tased. The answer is clear. If you're upstairs, speak to me now, Salem Police Department.
If you're upstairs, speak to me now. Sterling police, speak to me now. You will be tased. Upstairs is clear. Sir, I believe your house is clear. I did not see anybody. And uh, what did you say the uh, suspect looked like again? Oh, uh, right here. No, this road going towards um, Great Bear Road. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know which uh, way he turned, but that's the way I saw him go. All right. You, you Did you uh, get a description of him again? What did you, you say that was? Uh, yes. Yeah, so, uh, black hair, white male, um, long Pretty long hair, going to the neck approximately. Um, he had a uh, white tank top and blue jeans. All right, we will be on the lookout for him, and uh, you're safe to go inside. But if you go in there and figure out that uh, any of your items have been stolen, call the uh, police department, and we will get those items returned to you as soon as we can, sir. All right, thank you very much. Yes, sir. No problem. All right, guys, so uh, we just checked out the uh, planet's home, and uh, there was nobody in there, so we're going to be on. We're going to be on call right now, and we're going to look out for him. Hey, guys, we've been sitting here for about 10 minutes now, and I believe I saw the suspect up here to our right, so we're going to go out and have ourselves a look. He matches the description, it appears. Oh, he's taking off on us. Stop running, you will be tased. Stop running, you will be tased. Stop running. Down. Hands up. So what's the deal, man? Why are you running from me back there? I, I just got scared, man. Seeing you behind me, I just, just, yeah, got scared. You sure? You're having a little fishy there. You got a knife in your hand, too. I, I, I hunt, was hunt, hunting hunt deer, deer, man. Hunting deer? Yeah. It's quieter and it's, you know, a little more effective. You can sneak up on them. Didn't yeah, know that. No, man. That just seems a little seems a little weird. Uh, no, uh, I'm gonna put you in handcuffs. I'm gonna detain you. All right, do you mind if I pat you down real quick? That means your job, right? So go park, park. All right. Let's see. Uh, what's this? What's this in your pocket right here? I don't, I don't know. know. 
Uh, it's a bag of weed, man. That's uh, you know, it's illegal around here. I didn't know that. All right, well, can uh, take you to my car. So we just had a uh, burglary in process down the road, and you uh, you uh, matched the description, so we're gonna have to have a talk about it. Uh, okay, I wanna stop about it. Uh, okay. All right. So what are you doing with that weed? Are you uh, selling people? Nope. I, I, I smoke it for medical purposes. Uh, do you uh, have a prescription on it? Uh, yeah, I left it at home. Uh, I left it at home, I guess. I'm gonna put you in my car right here. All right, so here's the deal, man. You're gonna, we're gonna take this to court, and you're gonna be arrested today for uh, resisting arrest, burglary, and uh, possession of marijuana. I told you I had the medical papers for the marijuana. So why am I getting charged for that? You have the medical papers. I told that you that I left them at home. But they do have. Well, them. if they aren't here, then that's that's not a. Uh, that's not. You have to have those with you at all times, sir. Oh, wow, well, I didn't know that. Plus, I was going, so, I was going so, so I didn't so. think about bringing them. All right. Well, that will be. Uh, in court, so that will all be discussed in court. So we'll figure all that out. So I'm just gonna transport you to the uh, prison. We'll go on from there. All right. All right, guys. So we have caught our suspect. We're gonna take him over to the jail at the moment. We're gonna file him on a couple of different charges. Alright guys, he's gonna be booked on several different charges today. Uh, and hopefully he learns his lesson from all of this. We gotta keep our streets of Blaine County safe and we intend to do that.